semi-finals. No doubt about the expertise of Marc Gagnon. So Gagnon safely through. Fabio Carter goes with him. No place for Nicky Gooch for Great Britain or Andy Gable for the United States of America. There's confirmation of that result, the first of the quarterfinals in the men's 1,000 metres. So on to the uh, second of the quarterfinals. That's the lineup. Derek Campbell for Canada. Yihuan Li for China. Mirko Wulleman for Italy. And Hun Huan Li for the Republic of Korea. Derek Campbell lying in second place, point behind his teammate Mark Gagnon. Lee down in tenth place, looking for points here. Michael Wulleman in fifth at the moment, two points to his credit, four points away from the lead. There he is, Mirko Wulleman for Italy. There's the Korean. Yun Huan Lee. And main three, it's Zajun uh, Lee for China. Yes. Zajun Lee for China out in front. Derek Campbell now making his move up the inside. Campbell leads. Lee for China in second place as uh, Lee now moves into the front. Wulleman just uh, making a move there into second place. As uh, the Korean takes a look up the inside, so the lead changing with every corner. Kun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea out in front. Ji Jun Lee for China now out in front, pushing Derek Campbell down into third place. Merkel Wulleman right at the back of five laps to go. So, China from the Republic of Korea, from Canada, from Italy. Four laps to go now. And things really hotting up. The Korean taking a look down the inside, but uh, Ji Jun Lee for China, still holding on in front. As uh, Merkel Wulleman comes through, and that looked a dicey moment. Wulleman for Italy in second place now. And Ji Jun Lee for China grits his teeth with two laps to go. Wulleman making his move down the inside. Wulleman now leading China in second place as Derek Campbell now tries to come the inside. And uh, Campbell, well, I'm sure Derek Campbell will not get away with that. Mirko Wulleman down and out, as is J. Jun Lee for China. Well, we'll have to see what the officials have to say about that one. Certainly a physical race. Mirko Wulleman moved his way right from the back. Now it looked to me as though uh, there could have been an infringement from Wulleman. And that the situation with Lee there as uh, Campbell tries to get back in contention. And that picture really says it all. Well, no doubt about it, this man got through. Hun Huan Lee for the Republic of Korea. And there, confirmation that, uh, in fact, Derek Campbell for Canada is disqualified for impeding. And Mirko Wulleman for Italy is uh, disqualified for cross-tracking. So it's uh, the Korean and Hun Huan Lee for China that make it through into the semi-finals. So on to the uh, third of these quarterfinals. Razio Fagoni for Italy. Sun Tae Kim for the Republic of Korea. Sweden's Martin Johansson and Dave Versteeg for Holland. Razio Fagoni lying in third place. Bronze medalist in last year's World Championships. In fact, uh, finished second in the 1500 meters. Fagoni there in in number three, Martin Johansson, the Swede on the inside. Then it's the Dutchman, Versteeg, and the Italian. And uh, on the outside, and uh, well, I thought for a moment going out in front, Sun Tae Kim for the Republic of Korea. But it's uh, Kim in third place at the moment. The Dutchman out in front, Versteeg. Johansson in second place. 
Hume in third, Fogoni for Italy at the back of the pack with eight laps to go. So Kim looking to make a move up the inside. It's now Sante Kim for the Republic of Korea out in front. Versteeg for Holland in second place. Johansson for Sweden in third. And at the back still at the moment, Orazio Fogoni for Italy. Six laps to go. And the Korean again out in front. Fogoni making a move down the outside. Orazio Fogoni now leads. Sante Kim for the Republic of Korea in second place. Johansson for Sweden in third. Versteeg at the back of the pack at the moment. Four laps to go. Orazio still controlling this one. Kim now lets through Johansson. So Johansson up into second place with three laps to go. Orazio Fagoni for Italy, perhaps extending his lead a little bit. Mar Martin Johansson in second place. Kim for Korea in third. And at the back now, it's Versteeg for Holland. Two laps to go. And Johansson makes a move up the inside. Orazio Fagoni, nothing he can do about that. Fagoni now down into second place as the Korean Kim comes through. Kim into second place now. And there Johansson wins it. Well, there was a lunge at the line there from Sun Tai Kim for the Republic of Korea. But an excellent effort there from Martin Johansson from Sweden. The time, 1.36.54. Quite a slow race, but they had a slow start. Here's Johansson out in front of Sun Tai Kim makes his move up the inside across in front of Orazio Fagoni. Fagoni down into third place, glances across at the judges. And there the winner, Martin Johansson from Sweden. Dave Versteeg for Holland. There's a, a little bit of consultation going on here. We wait for confirmation, but there Sun Tai Kim for Republic of Korea is disqualified, so it's Dave Versteeg and Martin Johansson that make it through into the semi-finals. No place for Orazio Fagoni from Italy. A brave effort from him at the line. So the last of the quarterfinals, that's the lineup. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea, Kai Feng for China, Canada's Eric Beda, and for Australia, Stephen Bradbury. Dong Sung Kim lying in third place, in fact, joint third place with Orazio Fagoni. We've already seen that uh, Fagoni hasn't made it through into the semi final stage. Kai Feng in seventh place at the moment. With uh, just one point to his name. So it's the Korean on the inside. Dong Sung Kim. Then Bradbury for Australia. The Canadian. And it fed up. And number 114 there. Kai Feng for China. So the Canadian, Eric Beda, out in front. Stephen Bradbury for Australia in second place. Then the Korean, Dong Sun Kim, at the back at the moment, Kai Feng for China. Eight laps to go. Korean now makes his move. Kim up the outside. Feng trying to go with him, but uh, Beda responding and uh, keeping out of trouble sensibly to Stephen Bradbury at the back at the moment. So Beda down into third place. Feng for China leading. Kim for Korea in second place. Bada for Canada in third. And Bradbury still unable to get involved at the moment. Feng for China. Kim in second place. Bradbury looking for a way up the inside. Stephen Bradbury. For Australia needs to make a move if he's to do anything. Looks down the outside. Eric Bada for Canada. Still in third place, unable to make any impression on the front two. Two laps to go now. And uh, Kim and Feng pulling away. It's uh, Dong Sun Kim out in front now. Kai Feng for China in second place. Stephen Bradbury for Australia now in third. And Eric Bedar completely out of the running. Kicks the ice as he crosses the line. There's the winner, Dong Sun Kim.
for the Republic of Korea. 133.45, the time there. And there the uh, Korean out in front with uh, Kai Feng for China, hot on his heels. And at the moment that uh, it all went wrong for Eric Berdar. Stephen Bradbury moves up into third place, but uh, that won't be enough to get him through into the semi-finals. These two make it through. Dong Sung Kim for Korea, Kai Feng for China. They're the winner. And the line in third place, the points will be crucial. The uh, officials looking on there. You can see in the background the uh, ice being resurfaced in readiness for the ladies' semi-finals. And they have confirmation that, uh, in fact, Eric Bedar is disqualified for the collision. So it's uh, Dong Sun Kim and Kai Feng that go through. Ladies semi-finals in a moment. Dream Week from Monday at 10 CET on Eurosport. With Fisherman's Friends. Safilo and Dante's Peak. Welcome back. All the Japanese fans there to see Ikyu Teshikawara who's made it through to the semi-finals of the ladies 1000 meters there the lineup in the first semi-final Lee Kyung Chun from the Republic of Korea the defending champion and uh, in joint lead with Yang Yang at the moment Natalie Lambert former champion from Canada Ikyu Teshigawara for Japan and uh, Yang Yang S for China there Yes, is uh, for the month that she was born in, born in September. Yang Yang A, born in August. And uh, it's Yang Yang A that is in joint lead. The Yang Yang we see here is uh, down in fifth place with just two points. We'll start there. Natalie Lambert shakes her head. We'll wait to see who was uh, guilty of the full start. Natalie Lambert wearing uh, 18. And she is the first one back to the start line. So Lambert for Canada, Chun for the Republic of Korea, Teshigawara for Japan on the inside, and uh, Yang Yang for China, closest to the barrier. Better this time. Out in front, it's uh, Teshigawara for Japan, giving the Japanese fans something to shout about. The Korean Lee Kyung Chun in second place. Natalie Lambert for Canada in third. And China's Yang Yang at the back at the moment with eight laps to go. Lambert starting to make a move on the outside. So Natalie Lambert for Canada, it is that leads now. Yang Yang for China in second place. The Korean Lee Kyung Chun. In third place, and right at the back now, Ikyu Teshigawara. Six laps to go. Natalie Lambert leading for Canada. And uh, things starting to hot up. You can see there quite a crowd here for this final day of competition in the World Short Track Speed Skating Championships. As Lambert now starts to really speed things up with four laps to go. Still, Natalie Lambert out in front. Yang Yang for China in second place. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea in third with three laps to go. Ikyu Teshigawara looks as though she can hardly keep the pace. Teshigawara unable to make any impression 
as Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea looks for a way around the outside. Teshigawara trying to make a move on the inside. The final lap now. Lambert for Canada still out in front. It's Chun for the Republic of Korea up into second place and uh, in fact Chun makes it a win. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea wins that one. Natalie Lambert for Canada who made all of the running in second place but uh, through into the finals. That's the important thing. Yang Yang for China in third place. Ikyu Teshigawara who uh, I did a bit of a discredit to. It looked as though she was out of contention. You can see quite a gap there. The front three getting away but she reeled them in and tried to look for a way through on the inside. So Natalie Lambert really pleased with that through into the finals along with Lee Kyung Chun, the defending champion. There she is, and that's confirmation of that result. Just four one hundredths of a second between Chun and Lambert. No place in the finals for Yang Yang or Teshigawara. So a splendid race there for Natalie Lambert as we move on to the last of the semi-finals and there Yang Yang A for China. Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea. Chun Lu Wang for China and Italy's Mara Ubani. And there she is. Go to the start. Two skaters from China. Yang Yang wearing 23. Chun Lu Wang wearing number 22. So out in front is Obani for Italy. Then it's Chun Lu Wang for China. Then Hai Kong Won for the Republic of Korea. And at the back at the moment, it's Yang Yang. Korean now starting to uh, get things on the move. Hai Kyung Won, it is out in front. Chun Lu Wang in second place. At Chun Lu Wang in third, trying to make a move around the outside of a teammate, Yang Yang. Mara Obani just uh, at the back at the moment, but keeping that inside line. So Korea, China, China, and Italy. Five laps to go. Still out in front, Hai Kyung Won. And it's Yang Yang for China, followed by Chun Lu Wang for China. And uh, Mara Obani for Italy, trying to look for a way through with three laps to go. Chun Lu Wang. Trying to look for a way past Yang Yang. Still dictating the pace and controlling the race. It's Hai Kyung Won out in front, into the final lap now. Chun Lu Wang. Looking for a way past the teammate, Yang Yang. It's Hai Kong Wan who's going to win it. And Yang Yang for China in second place. Chun Lu Wang doesn't make it through into the finals. And Mara Obani, who uh, was in fourth place from about the second lap, couldn't make any impression at all. A good camaraderie there between the skaters in the Chinese team. And uh, brilliant control and dictation of the pace of the race there from Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea. Yang Yang for China, making it through as well. So the qualifiers, Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, Natalie Lambert for Canada. And uh, their confirmation that uh, Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea goes through, as does Yang Yang for China. So on to the men's semi-finals, the first semi-final, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea, Kai Feng for China, Martin Johansson for Sweden, and Fabio Carter for Italy. Hansen did a great job in the quarterfinals, really got his work cut out here. 
in the uh, semi-finals. Tough group, Dong Sung Kim. Yeah, it's Fabio Carter. That's the Korean Dong Sung Kim. Yeah, Johansson. Kai Feng for China in lane number three. Dong Sung Kim lying in joint third place. With Orazio Fogoni. So Kim looking for valuable points here. Got the two Canadians ahead of him, Mark Gagnon and Derek Campbell. And Derek Campbell hasn't made it through to the semi-final stage of the competition. So uh, points very valuable indeed here for the Korean. It's uh, Dong Sung Kim out in front, Johansson on the outside there in second place. The Italian Fabio Carter just uh, on the inside in third. And Kai Feng at the back at the moment with five laps to go. Kim from Johansson, from Carter, and Feng now starting to make a move around the outside. Kai Feng for China, very quick, up into second place. So Dong Sung Kim leads. Kai Feng for China in second place. Martin Johansson in third. The Italian really struggling to keep with the pace now with three laps to go. Fabio Carter right at the back. You can see him trying to build speed and get back in contention, but uh, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea looks very strong indeed. Kai Feng defending his place from Martin Johansson. Johansson takes a look down the inside. Carter, whoa, Carter completely on the edge, totally on the limit and down and out. So Carter out of the contention. Johansson losing ground as well. It's Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea that goes through with Kai Feng. Johansson put in a splendid challenge and you could see Fabio Carter. Total commitment from the Italian, but just lost his footing and he's down and out. Well, a bit of disappointment for him. Carter lying down in 14th place and uh, he'd have loved to have a place in the finals there. And here we can see Carter really trying hard on the outside there and just lost his grip, crashing into the boards. Martin Johansson unable to make any impression at all. And you can see coming out of the final corner, he knew that it was uh, really no hope. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea goes through. Kai Feng for China going through with him. Feng lying in seventh place. Points important for him. No place for Johansson or Fabio Carter. Splendid race. So now to the uh, last of the semi finals. Mark Gagnon, defending champion, leader at the moment. Jai Jun Li for China, then for the Republic of Korea, it's Yun Huan Li, and for Holland, Dave Versteeg. There's uh, Versteeg, and in fact, only three of them to start. Jai Jun Li is not there for some reason. We'll try and find out uh, what the reason is, but uh, three skaters. So we've got Mark Gagnon for Canada, for Korea, Jun Huan Lee, and for Holland, Dave Versti. Gagnon, it is out in front. The Korean in second place, Jun Huan Lee, and Dave Versti for Holland at the back at the moment. Versteeg now makes his move up the inside. So Dave Versteeg for Holland now leads. Mark Gagnon for Canada, second place. Hume Wan Lee for the Republic of Korea at the back of the moment with six laps to go. Gagnon now back up in front. Lee in third place. Versteeg for Holland it is in second place. 
Now Lee makes his move around the outside. Gagnon closes the door. Mark Gagnon still leading for Canada. Yun Wan Lee for the Republic of Korea in second place. And on the back there from Dave Verstig, down in third. Three laps to go. Gagnon, the defending champion and leader in the lead. Back pulling away from Lee for Korea. Final lap now, Mark Gagnon for Canada leads. Dave Verstig needs to make a move now into the final bend. What can he do here? It's Lee for the Republic of Korea in second place. And it's Lee and Gagnon that make it through into the finals. No place for Ve Dave Verstig. Splendid race from Mark Gagnon from Canada. And uh, a smile on the face from Yun Hwan Lee for the Republic of Korea. He did everything right. Gagnon tremendously powerful over the second to last lap really opening up a lead to enable a sure place in that finals. Mark Gagnon, number 108 for Canada. There's confirmation of that semi-final. Gagnon for Canada goes through. He takes with him Hyun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea. Brave effort from Dave Verstig. He's out of it. A no start for Jae Jun Lee for China. We're off for a break. It's the ladies' finals in a moment or two. Swatch. Keep in shape. Eurosport offer you the chance to win a weekend for two at the Italian Grand Prix. You can also win Nolan helmets. To play and win, call the Eurosport hotline now. And good luck. Welcome back. Now the final of the ladies, 1,000 meters. And uh, these ladies skating for a place in the 3,000 meters. The top eight skaters, the top eight finishers in both the ladies and the men's will compete over the uh, final race, the 3,000 meters. That's the lineup for the final of the ladies, 1,000 meters. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, defending champion, leader at the moment. There she is. And uh, she's joint leader with Yang Yang for China. And there, Yang Yang. Five points along with Lee Kyung Chun. And there, Natalie Lambert down in 10th place. She's pleased to be in this final. And uh, for the Republic of Korea, Hai Kyung Won who's uh, in joint third place on three points, silver medalist in the World Championships last year. Ready. One wearing number 48, closest to us. It's Chun for Korea on the inside and in the lead. Natalie Lambert for Canada in second place. And it's uh, one for the Republic of Korea. And at the back at the moment, Yang Yang for China. It'll be an interesting battle between Yang Yang and Lee Kyung Chun. And the joint leaders, a lot at stake here. Likely to be a pretty fast race. Natalie Lambert at the back of the moment. And Yang Yang for China in second place. Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea. It is out in front. Lee Kyung Chun in Third place, and actually at the back now as Lambert comes through. Five laps to go. Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea out in front. Yang Yang for China, second place. Natalie Lambert in third. Three laps to go. Won for Korea in first place. Yang Yang for China in second. Lambert looking for a way through. Two laps to go now. 
Natalie Lambert needs to make a move soon as uh, Lee Kyung Chun tries to make a move up the inside with two laps to go. Now Yang Yang for China making a move up the inside. It's Yang Yang for China leading desperately close there. Natalie Lambert looking, losing her footing. Lee Kyung Chun trying to make a move up the outside. But Hai Kyung Won just hanging on there, desperately close to the line. I think Won was in second place. Yang Yang won that one. Well, so close at the end. Yang Yang for China wins. I think it was Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea in second place. And Lee Kyung Chun, the Korean, in third. Natalie Lambert all over the place on that final lap it got desperately close Lambert trying to make her challenge up the inside losing her footing there and uh, you can see Hai Kyung Won taking advantage of that as does Lee Kyung Chun Chun number 47 there making a move up the outside and uh, let's just see as they cross the line number 48 I think it was that got there just ahead the 47 desperately close couldn't really see from that line but uh, pretty sure it's Yang Yang that's the winner no doubt about that Hai Kyung Won, I think it was, number 48, that got second place. And Lee Kyung Chun, indeed it is, there's confirmation in third. Natalie Lambert, well, one point for her in fourth place. But uh, she'll make it through to the 3,000 meters. So five points for Yang Yang. Hai Kyung Won, three points for her. Lee Kyung Chun gets two points and a point for Natalie Lambert. So the situation after the 1,000 meters is that Yang Yang for China is in the lead on 10 points. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea on seven points. Her teammate Hai Kyung Won on six points in third place. Isabel Chere for Canada on three points in fourth place. Then it's uh, Yang Yang S for China with two points in joint fifth place with the European champion Marinella Canclini. So on to the men's final now. Well, a lot of cheers there from uh, the Japanese, but uh, there's no Japanese skaters in the men's final. There, Marc Gagnon for Canada. In the lead at the moment, the defending champion on six points. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea. Joint third place on three points. And it's Kai Feng for China. Final seventh place, just one point, and Hyun Hwan Lee for the Republic of Korea. The uh, important thing, or the interesting thing, is here that there is no Derek Campbell, who's lying in second place on five points, and Orazio Fagoni, the uh, guy lying in joint third on three points with Dong Sung Kim, he hasn't made it through to the finals either. So valuable points at stake. It's important for Mark Gagnon to do well here, and he knows it. So I'd imagine there's uh, uh, more than a few nerves out there. Yun Huang Li on the inside, then it's Kai Feng, then Gagnon for Canada, and nearest the camera, Dong Sung Kim. All safely away. And this will be a tactical race indeed. Yun Huang Li for Korea out in front. Mark Gagnon now moves into the lead. The two Koreans and Kai Feng for China at the back. And the lead changes once again as Yun Won Li goes into the lead. Dong Sun Kim in second place. Mark Gagnon back in front again with seven laps to go. He wants to dictate the pace of this one. Kai Feng for China still at the back. And uh, the Koreans make their move back in front again. Gagnon now down into second place. And uh, Gagnon coming across inside. Gagnon leads. Now Feng making a move around the outside. And uh, I think Feng went then. Yep. Faller Kai Feng is down and out of it. Mark Gagnon out in front. The two Koreans hot in pursuit. Three laps to go now. As the Koreans go through, that's Yun Won Lee out in front. Then it's uh, Mark Gagnon and uh, just behind him, Dong Sung Kim. Two laps to go now. Can Mark Gagnon hang on? Mark Gagnon very wide, almost opened the door there for Dong Sung Kim. On the final lap now, Mark Gagnon out in front. He needs the points. Come on, Mark. 
Dong Sung Kim taking a look on the inside. Oh, and a lunge for the line there from Marc Gagnon. Well, Gagnon just got there. The question is, was he involved in that fall from Kai Fen? Here comes uh, Kai Feng across the line. Be interesting to see it again. Mark Gagnon winning that one. Dong Sung King for Republic of Korea in second place. And Hyun Won Lee for Republic of Korea in third. Well, there's the fall of Kai Feng. Nobody involved in that. And there, Mark Gagnon. Well, moving across in front of the Korean. A real lunge to the line. It was desperately close. Couldn't have been any closer. Let's just watch the skates. It's the front of the skate that has to cross the line first. Look. And no doubt about it that uh, Mark Gagnon's foot crossed the line first. A pat on the back there. And uh, tremendous stuff for Gagnon. Well, there are the Koreans, and that's uh, Dong Sung Kim. Across the line in second place. Yun Hwon Lee, his teammate, crossed in third. So, I can tell you from the look on Mark Gagnon's face that he has just been told that he has been disqualified for cross-tracking. So the result of the men's 1,000 meters is like that. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea wins. Yun Huan Lee for Korea in second place. And Kai Feng for China in third. Gan Yong, although he was first to cross the line, seemed to have done everything right, has been penalized, disqualified for cross-tracking. Let's take a look at that again. Here it is as he crosses in front of one of the Koreans. And uh, the judges disqualifying him for that. And uh, that the overall situation. Dong Sun Kim in the lead with eight points. Then Mark Gagnon for Canada with six points. Derek Campbell, his teammate, on five points. Orazio Fagoni for Italy in Joint fourth place on three points with Kai Feng and Hyun Huan Lee. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. So now to the final race for the ladies. It's the grueling 3,000 meters. Eight skaters have made it through. And uh, there's one Japanese skater in amongst the lineup. And there is the lineup. Yang Yang for China. Leader after three rounds of the competition on 10 points. Then it's Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, lying in second place on seven points, the defending champion. Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea in third place. Then Isabel Charay for Canada in fourth at the moment. Then equal fifth, it's Yang Yang and Marinella Kamklini. They're both on two points, and uh, on one point each, Natalie Lambert for Canada and Ichi Teshi Gawara. That's Yang Yang for China. Buying an equal fifth place with uh, Manuela Kanaklini. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, the defending champion, lying in second place at the moment. Isabel Charest for Canada, lying in fourth place. Three points she has. Yang Yang there for China, equal fifth place with uh, Can Cleaning. There she is, Marinella Can Cleaning. Can Cleaning, European champion. Natalie Lambert lying in equal seventh place with uh, Ikyu Teshigawara for Japan. And there she is, a big roar goes up for her, Ikyu Teshigawara. A very slight figure. And she looks nervous. She looks up at the uh, crowd here. A lot of uh, expectation. And uh, this is sure to be a tight race indeed. So 27 laps of the track. 
and uh, nobody really wanting to take up the running early on. It's Natalie Lambert for Canada out in front. So, two skaters from China, two from Canada, two from Korea, one from Italy and one from Japan in this final distance. And this race, too sure to sort out exactly where the medals will go. So Natalie Lambert down in fourth place and now up into second. The lead changing once again. It's Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea in first place. In fact, Lee Kyung Chun for Korea, just trying to make a move up the inside. There's uh, one of the skaters from China up there now, and Lambert down into fourth place. And in fact, it's Yang Yang A for China, who uh, is in the lead. Lambert for Canada in fourth place. The other Canadian, Isabel Charette, down in seventh at the moment, with uh, Marinella Canclini at the back, keeping out of trouble. 21 laps of the track to go, with Yang Yang A in front. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea in second place. Then it's Hai Kyung Won. Natalie Lambert. Then it's uh, Ikyu Teshikawara. The uh, smallest figure out there. And the pace has slowed right down. 20 laps to go. You can be sure it's going to be fast and furious in the latter stages. Yang Yang just looks over her shoulder. Lee Kyung Chun just nestled in behind in second place. Then it's Hai Kyung Won and uh, Natalie Lambert in fourth place. Little EQ Teshigawara in fifth. Then it's Isabel Charay for Canada. And uh, guess what? It looks as though that's all changed again. Natalie Lambert now starting to extend her lead with. 18 laps to go. Lambert looks across and uh, the Koreans not wanting to let her go away. It's Hai Kyung Won in second place still. Lee Kyung Chun in third. Yang Yang in fourth place. And uh, Lambert slows it right up again. 16 laps to go now. Lambert still leading. Hai Kyung Won in second place for Korea. And uh, the Italian, Marinella Canclini, moving up slightly now. She's in fifth place. Isabel Charette in seventh. And it is uh, Charette that's out in front. It's uh, Lambert that's at the back. And Lambert now making a move around the outside, 13 laps to go. Yang Yang out in front. And, uh, one of the Canadians now making a move down the outside. Almost like a training session this, but uh, a lot more at stake. Natalie Lambert it is that's uh, moved up in front again. So Lambert in front, Isabel Charay coming with her. So Charay back in the lead again. Marinella Cantini at the back of the pack with 11 laps to go. And the cat and mouse hasn't uh, really stopped. But uh, the pace has definitely hotted up. Isabel Charay leading. Natalie Lambert for Canada in second place. Lambert goes into the lead now with Lee Kyung Chun in second place. In fact, Charay just closing the door on her. And Chun not having any of it. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea out in front. The two Canadians in second and third. And the other Korean making a move around the outside. That's Hai Kyung Won for Korea making a move. One of the Chinese skaters going and there was a faller there. And that, I think, was Natalie Lambert. Indeed, it was Natalie Lambert has a fall. Desperate disappointment for her with seven laps to go. In contention all the way. It's Korea, 1-2, then Canada with Isabel Charay. So it's Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea out in front. Lee Kyung Chun in second place. Isabel Charay for Canada in third. Then the two skaters from China, 
Then little Ikyu Teshigawara, and at the back at the moment, Marinella Canclini. But of course, Natalie Lambert is behind her. So four laps to go. Korea, one, two, Canada, three. Well, it's going to be an exciting finish. Lee Kyung Chun, it is out in front now, with Hai Kyung Won in second place. Chun for the Republic of Korea leading. Won for the Republic of Korea in second place. Then the two skaters from China. Final lap now, things not going to change. Yang Yang A, I think it is in third place. Here we into the final bend. A big roar goes up. It's going to be a sprint finish to the line. And indeed, it's Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea that gets there. Second place, Hai Kyung Won for Korea. And third place going to Yang Yang A. And fourth place to Yang Yang S for China. Ikyu Teshigawara finishes in fifth place. Canada, very disappointing. Isabel Chere in sixth. Marinella Canclini, the Italian, in seventh place. And Natalie Lambert for Canada after that fall. Here she is, just uh, finishing the race in eighth place. A tremendous competitor and uh, a great sportswoman. So here we take a look at the uh, closing stages of the race again. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea. Just sprinting to the line. A dive there from... <laughs> One of these skaters from China. So Lee Kyung Chun it is that wins. Hai Kyung won in second place. Great for Korea. And uh, good to see a shake of the hand there from Yang Yang, who finished in third place. There's confirmation. So Korea one and two, China three and four, Japan five, then Canada six. Marinella Canclini for Italy in seventh. And Natalie Lambert for Canada in eighth. And that makes the uh, overall classifications. It's uh, uh, a tie for first place. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, tying with Yang Yang, both on 12 points. There's confirmation of that. Hai Kong won for the Republic of Korea, taking the bronze medal with nine points. No medals for Canada this year. Isabel Chere in fourth place, joint fourth place on three points with Yang Yang. Marinella Canclini for Italy on two points, sixth place for her. Then joint seventh, Natalie Lambert for Canada and Ikyu Teshikawara for Japan. A tremendously exciting competition. Let's hope the men's competition can live up to that. There's the lineup. Eight skaters. And uh, Dong Sung Kim, the leader after three races on eight points the defending champion mark gagnon in second place after that disqualification in the 1000 meters on six points then it's derek campbell lying in third on five points then there are three skaters on equal fourth place on three points orazio fagoni kai feng jun huan li and then equal seventh place satoru Torao for japan and mirko wulleman for italy and that was Dong Sung Kim, the man in the lead at the moment. There, Mark Gagnon, well in 108, defending champion in second place. Must be feeling bitterly disappointed. There's the Italian, Orazio Fagoni. It was Derek Campbell we saw just before, man lying in third place. Orazio Fagoni in joint fourth with this man, Kai Feng. And the other skater in fourth place at the moment. Hyun Hwan Lee for the Republic of Korea. And then on two points, seventh place, a big cheer for Satoru Torao from Japan. And then Mirko Vulleman, the Italian, seventh place, two points, tying with Torao. So 3,000 meters, as with the ladies, 27 laps of the track. The hopes of Japan resting on the shoulders of this young man, Tarao, on the inside. Well, the horns blare and the flags wave as the skaters get underway. Mark Gagnon for Canada, it is out in front. It's a 
Gagnon leading. The two Koreans in second and third. And it's Derek Campbell. In fact, it's uh, the two Koreans. And it's Satoru Torao for Japan. Lorenzo Fagoni in fourth place. is uh, a little bit of a move now from Kim Won Lee for the Republic of Korea. And Gagnon won't want to let him get away. Lee trying to make his move early. And uh, realizes that uh, it's all to no avail. So it's Lee out in front, Mark Gagnon in second place. Gagnon now out in front. Satoru Torao for Japan in third place there. That's one of the Italians. And again, another one of the Koreans wanted to make their move. They're trying to tire the rest of the field down, I'm pretty sure. So 20 laps to go. Korea out in front. Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place. And that's Yun Huang Li again. Trying to make his move with uh, Gagnon and the rest of the pack. Too quick as one of the Italians comes through now. And uh, the Korean not wanting to let him go away. Li responding with 17 laps to go. Catching him again, and uh, one of the Koreans goes again. It's going to be a tiring race, a real tactical game, this. So Kim Won Lee for the Republic of Korea still out in front. Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place. Then it's Dong Sung Kim, the leader at the moment. Toru Torao for Japan in amongst it as well. And there's a move on the outside again. Gagnon glances across. He sees the move. And once again, it's Yun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea. You just wonder whether this is a, a tactical game to tire down uh, Gan Yong. Dong Sung Kim, remember, leading at the moment. He's two points clear of Mark Gan Yong. The Italian up the front there. Oh, there's an Italian at the front and an Italian at the back. Pretty sure it's uh, Fagoni at the front of Wulleman at the back. Nine laps to go. There it is, Wulleman, one, three, eight. Satoru Torao for Japan now out in front. Derek Campbell for Canada with him. And now Mark Gagnon just moving up the inside and he goes in front with eight laps to go. Canada one and three with Japan in two. So now, Kai Feng for China, it is out in front. Mark Gagnon in second place, there's a faller there, it's one of the Italians. I think that's Orazio Fagoni, so Fagoni's out of it. Kai Feng for China, out in front. Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place. It's one of the Koreans in third, four laps to go, Feng starting to pull away. Now, how much strength has Mark Gagnon got left now? Gagnon, second place. I think it's Dong Sung Kim in third place with two laps to go. Kim takes a move around the outside. Mark Gagnon in there. It's all getting a bit scrappy now. Dong Sung Kim making his move around the outside. Kim, it is out in front. Mark Gagnon in second place. Satoru Torao in third place on the final lap. Torao coming through. Mark Gagnon's legs have died. So Torao gets second place, brilliant.
timing there from Dong Sung Kim from the Republic of Korea. He wins the 3,000 meters. A salute there for Satoru Torao for Japan, and what disappointment for Mark Gagnon. He tried to read the race so well. He was in contention all the time, and when Satoru Torao put on the pressure, Mark Gagnon couldn't respond. Applause there for Dong Sung Kim. He did everything right. Torao did a great job, and Mark Gagnon in despair. Well, would you believe it? Well, that really is an upset. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea wins the 3,000 meters, and that means he will take the title. Their confirmation, Dong Sung Kim wins the 3,000 meters. Satoru Torao for Japan in second place. Mark Gagnon, third place. Mirko Vulleman for Italy in fourth. Derek Campbell for Canada, fifth. Kai Feng for China in sixth place. Then it's Yun Huan Lee for the Republic of Korea. And a disappointment for Orazio Fagoni down in eighth place. So, the final classification then of the men's event. It's Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea, who wins with 13 points. Mark Gagnon for Canada, silver medal this year on eight points. Satoru Torao, great stuff. Bronze medal for him on five points. In fact, he ties with Canada's Derek Campbell. Then three skaters on, five, on fifth place, three points. Orazio Fagoni for Italy, Kai Feng for China, and Yun Huan Li for the Republic of Korea. In fact, there's another one too, Mirko Vulleman for Italy. We'll catch our breath after the excitement of the uh, men's and ladies' competition. And now it's the uh, start of the relay final. First of all, it'll be the ladies, and uh, that's the lineup. Republic of Korea, Canada, Japan, and Italy. I can tell you that uh, in Korea's team, there they are. It's Chun Lee Kyung, Won Hai Kyung, An Sang Mi, and Kim Yun Mi. In the Canadian team, the lineup is Isabel Charest, Natalie Lambert, Christine Boudre, and Annie Perrault. Japan, it's Ikyu Tashigawara, Shikazu Tanaka, Nobuko Yamada, and Ayako Tsubaki. And uh, the Italian team is Maranella Cantini, Mara Obani, Katia Kuchiori, and Barbara Baldizera. Their confirmation, that's the Japanese team. Italian team, Antoni, Ubani, Cucciuri, and Baldizera. Go to the start. So, 3,000 meters, 27 laps Ready? of the track. And uh, a full start there from Canada, wearing number one, Natalie Thank Lambert. You. If you've not seen the relay race in short track before, it does get very confusing indeed. Skaters racing around the outside, and the skaters on the inside there, you can see, getting ready for the changeover. Building up speed, and uh, a quick change there from Japan. So 25 laps to go. Canada. In third place, the Italians at the back at the moment. It's uh, Japan out in front, just Korea in second place, Canada in third, Italy in fourth place. So Japan with the yellow helmets, Korea with the red. Canada with blue and Italy with green. 21 laps to go now as the uh, Koreans now in front, Canada in second place. So Korea first, Canada second, Japan third, Italy fourth. 20 laps to go, a change from the Canadians, a change from Japan as well. Korea still holding that lead. 
19 laps to go. Incredibly fast pace. Korea still out in front. A change from the Canadians, a change from Japan again. You can see the Korean there just getting ready for the change. Important to get the speed right. The Canadian right hot on the heels. A change from Canada and Japan again. Still out in front. It's Korea, then Canada, then Japan. The Italians struggling to keep in contention with 16 laps to go. A change now from Japan. The Canadians coming through. There'll be a change from Canada, Japan and Italy on this lap. 15 laps to go. And uh, things starting to spread out a little bit. The Italians really losing contention. And Canada now just in front. So Canada lead, Korea in second, Japan in third. 13 laps to go. The Canadians starting to pull away. A change from the Koreans there. And the Can Canadians looking very, very strong indeed. Canada one, Korea two.